Hi everyone, my name is Carson from Ezra Canada. It is often assumed that our users will automatically understand the difference between the My Esri portal and ArcGIS Online. But when starting your GIS journey, there's a lot of jargon to sift through, and knowing the difference between these two platforms is critical to getting your GIS up and running. In this video, I'm going to break down the key differences between the two, why each is important, and how to ensure you are logged into the correct site for the workflow you wish to achieve. Let's start with the MyEsri interface. MyEsri is the portal where you manage your customer account information. It is where you can access licensing information, create authorization files, where you can access software downloads, review your maintenance status, and view technical support information. This is just a brief overview of some of the things you can do in MyEsri. There's a number of other things that you can do, and if you ever need assistance in navigating this site, there's a great new tool located here on the right-hand side. It will guide you through the most common workflows. Let's have a look at licensing. Let's license our products. You can see here a window pops up that guides you through the licensing process. Great. You can continue through the wizard here to create authorization files for your products. Let's head over to ArcGIS.com. ArcGIS.com is our online GIS platform where you can perform common WebGIS workflows. There are two versions of ArcGIS Online. An ArcGIS Online public account, which is free and accessible using your Esri account. And an ArcGIS Online organizational account, which is a paid subscription and usually is included with an ArcGIS desktop or personal use license. It is important to note that the credentials you use to access My Esri is in fact an Esri account that has been tied to your customer profile. It therefore has access to the public version of ArcGIS Online. Some customers may wish to configure their My Esri username to work for their ArcGIS Online organizational account, but we will not be covering that in this video. Let's enter our username and password. Okay, what we're looking at here is an ArcGIS Online public account. You can do things like create maps and apps, but other functionality is limited. If you find yourself here, it means one of two things. Number one, you have not activated your ArcGIS Online subscription. You can check if your subscription has been activated in My Esri in the ArcGIS Online information section. Here. Number two is, you have activated your ArcGIS Online subscription, but it was set up using a different username than the one you use to access My Esri. In my case, I have activated my subscription, but I have a separate username. One for My Esri, and one for my ArcGIS Online organization. My, my Esri or username is not tied to an ArcGIS Online organization and therefore only has access to an ArcGIS Online public account. Let's sign out of this and sign into ArcGIS Online using my ArcGIS Online named user account. Okay, now we're in the right place. You can see the ArcGIS Online organizational tab across the top. Here we can do a number of different things, such as assign ArcGIS Pro named user licenses and extensions. We can also do things like create maps and apps, as well as create data. We can even download ArcGIS Pro directly from ArcGIS Online. Here. 
This is just a quick overview of some of the many possibilities that are available in ArcGIS Online for WebGIS. I hope this clears up some of the main differences between MyEsri and ArcGIS Online. Please feel free to contact Esri Canada's technical support if you have any questions.